Hello, Bruno. Hi, now. You're finally there. Let me remind you that you have a presentation today. Actually, you are already in. Well, I guess that's why there's so many people in here. Hi, everyone. <laughs> now? Now? Yes, Bruno? Can you tell us what you are useful for? What a stupid question. <laughs> Thank Do you, you ask what a PC is useful for? No. When a laptop is programmed, you can do everything you want. It is the same for me. But I'm much more interactive and friendly than a PC. I'm humanoid. Imagine all you can do with me. I can teach or entertain children. <laughs> I can assist the elderly people. Daily help the humans be a smart companion. One day, everyone will have a robot at home and we will never remember what a computer is. <laughs> I'm the next evolution of the user interface. Piece of cake. <laughs> Thank you, Now. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Look at the power of the body language. Look how easy, much easier it is to interact with this robot, with a humanoid robot, with a companion, that with a device. Even for my old mother. She doesn't have any Android device, iPhone, iPad. Well, she had, but she's not using them. So she is using it. She likes it. So this kind of robot, interactive robot, are much more <coughs> powerful in order to bring people to this digital world, to the connected world. Think about all what your developers, what your team, what you could do as applications for that. Yesterday, I got good news uh, because Eric at the beginning and many people during the day spoke about robot, the next big thing coming. Wow, great. Well, I got some bad news too because I'm European, even worse, French. So I understood that I'm in an economy that will forever be in trouble. <laughs> My English is not very good, but forever looks like a long time. <laughs> so let's come back to the robot. We dream about robots for decades. We've been told they are coming soon. Now they are here. It's no more for tomorrow. This one exists. You can program it. You can do whatever you want. He has brothers. We are finalizing the big brother this size. So in order to have a much faster, much interactive one. And these robots are existing as hardware platform, which is very difficult to do, so we did it. We provide whoever wants this platform. We have elementary bricks of software, thanks to you, for face recognition, for voice recognition, whatever. And then we are now working at the application. We are developing the application. We have an application store that hundreds of developers are boosting. Hey, keep quiet. Sorry. He has some behaviors, autonomous behaviors. So I want to highlight some of the different applications. But what I want you to understand is my first message is robots are here. The second message is if you want to change the world, there are very good robots, vacuum cleaner robots. It's perfect. They are doing a good job. But they are not changing the world. What will change the world are companion robots. Humanoid robots, robots everyone will be comfortable in inter interacting with. And these robot, robots coupled with uh, cloud computing, wow, very powerful. So I want to give you some examples. The first one is about my mother. She is living alone. Uh, she is monitored by a French insurance company. She has some kind of awful watch uh, checking whether she falls down, she is moving, or whatever. And she hates that. She hates being discriminated, being, being seen as someone that has to be monitored. So as soon as she is receiving friends or grandchildren, she's putting the, the watch away and, of course, forget it after. So that means the insurance company is 
uh, ha has to make a doubt removal and is spending huge money for that. So they came and they asked me, is it possible to experiment your robots? Is it possible to try putting a robot, not for having a smart one who will detect what will happen, just to have a robot that the call center will be able to, to take control of to, for the doubt removal? And of course the response is yes, the answer is yes. We did that. But the important fact is it's not yes because robots are existing. We could have telepresence robot. It's yes because she's accepting the robot. Because it's a companion, she's accepting it at home. When she has her grandchildren, the robot is storyteller, the robot is playing games, quiz, whatever. She's using some kind of Skype to, to, to give phones through the robot. So it's a robot that is already well accepted by her. And it's the most important for, for, uh, point. I don't want to have a mechanical robot somewhere in the corridor of my, of my mother's flat and having her closed in her room scared of the robot. So we need to have very well accepted. That's why we have this kind of shapes and this will change the world. I foresee a, a world in very few years where seniors will save a few years of autonomy thanks to the robot before going to specialized houses. And this day we will have millions of robots. Each and every one will have a robot. I don't know, the, the cost of this one is about uh, 15,000 USD. So it's not very important. The important is it's existing. Uh, we, we produce, we sold 3,000 around the globe. So we are now producing, it's a product. Price will decrease. So it's something that will be really affordable. So each and every one will be able to have a robot. And then you can imagine the number of millions of jobs we will have in designing the robots, in designing the software, and all the services around that. A totally new activity sector is coming and thanks to this kind of robot, it will change the world. I want to highlight two other examples. Bless you. Sorry. <laughs> One is uh, air conditioning, probably. Uh, first example, first other example I want to give is about autistic kids. You know, they are not able or very badly to interact with people. Some are not able to interact at all. But they have an intrinsic interest in technology. And they are very comfortable in interacting with, with this kind of robots, this kind of tools. So we are working with uh, Notre Dame University in Indiana and many, many other uh, research labs about autism uh, in having this robot as a tool for the educator. And it has been proven that it's providing a, a higher interest in the, in the study, in the, in the lesson from, from the kids, and then helping them more efficiently to grow. And we have an example where a robot can do something that we cannot do. It's not substitution of our jobs, it's something more that we cannot do and that robot can do. I want to give you another opportunity, another thing that is happening with robots. Here, I'm far beyond humanoid robots, it's about uh, uh, other kind of robots. It's the green wall, the grid green wall. I don't know if you know this project. Uh, we want to stabilize deserts, and it's difficult. And there are deserts in Africa, in Middle East, China, uh, a lot. And the, the, most uh, efficient way to stabilize that we found is to plant trees, but billions of trees. Trees are stabilizing the desert as well as providing shadow, wood, and helping local agriculture. So it's a powerful mean to, 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 to grow and to, to, to take care of the desert. The problem is not very easy in this very hot and unfriendly environment to plant trees and to care about them. So there is an idea to have swarms of robots one of them digging a hole, another one planting a tree, another one provide watering with just minimum quantity of water, another one with uh, pesticides if needed, plus you have some autonomous robots that will supply them from the remote warehouse. And we, we have this idea of having thousands of swarms of robots controlled by satellites, and this will help planting and, and carrying about billions of trees. You know this project, Great uh, Green Wall? It's very challenging, but it's feasible. It's something that will help stabilizing deserts. And you know what? It's already ongoing. It's already begun. So it's something that is happening with robots. Robots are really here helping people. So I wanted to give you some ideas, some examples. I... Hi, Kate. Hey, now. No, he's in a meeting. He's busy. <laughs> Do you want me to take a message? Okay, see you, baby. Sorry. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so I'm no more driving. So I don't know where I was. 
So I wanted to give you some example. Now, the, the important question is, this platform is existing. It's affordable, it's robust, it can fall down without breaking. And then, with all this software infrastructure, it allows developers everywhere, different company business, to develop applications, to develop the, the, the usages, and then to turn that into the really next revolution in the very short term. So it's the main message, third message I wanted to tell you. The robots for better living are already knocking at your door. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.